Shalom, Shalom Israel, coming back with another video. And the title of this video is going to be titled, Know Ye Not That Ye Are the Temple of the Most High, right? Because the Most High dwells not in temples built with hands. He doesn't dwell in these churches. He dwells within us, right? And then knowing that we have to keep our temples clean, uh, sacred, pure, right? Cannot be eating swine flesh, can be eating crab, shrimp, lobster, right? Anything without fins and scales, you cannot eat, right? Uh, you cannot be smoking cigarettes, you cannot be smoking weed. All those things defile the temple, right? And let's, uh, let's get 1 Corinthians 3 and 16. It reads, Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you, right? So we're the temple of the Most High. And the Spirit of God, the Spirit of, of Yahweh, dwelleth within us, right? But if you defile that temple, right, and you're unclean, you're going to be destroyed, right? Verse 17, if any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are, right? So if you defile the temple of God, and knowing that we are the temple of the Most High, so if you defile your temple... The Most High is going to destroy you, right? Because your body don't belong to you. Your spirit don't belong to you, right? It belongs to the Most High. So if you defile your body, right, thinking, oh, I could do what I want. I could smoke if I want to, right? I could eat pig if I want to, swine. I could eat crab, shrimp, lobster if I want to. Right? It's my body. It's my spirit. The Most High is going to destroy you for that if you don't repent, right? So he says, if any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Holy. The temple of God is holy. It's sacred. It's pure. Right? Let's get that. Let's look up this word holy. And it's, uh, let's, let's get it real quick. Strong's G40. Hagias. 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 Right? So if you defile your temple, you're going to be destroyed. Holy meaning what? Meaning most holy thing, a saint, right? Reading on. Sacred, physically pure, morally blameless or religious, ceremonially consecrated. Most holy one, thing, saint, right? So the, the temple of the Most High, right? It's a... Uh, it's holy, right? It's sacred. It's pure. It's morally blameless, right? So if you defile that, then you're going to be destroyed according to the scriptures. You know, a lot of people don't believe that you will be put to death for eating swine flesh, right? Well, let's get it. You go to the book of Isaiah. Slap you. Isaiah 66. In verse 17, and it reads, They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree, in the midst, eating swine's flesh, and the abomination and the mouse shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. All right, so if you're caught eating swine flesh, when your Shai comes back, whom the world calls Jesus Christ, when he comes back and you're still eating swine's flesh, you have not repented for anything. He said he's going to put you to death for those things. You're going to be consumed. Right? Like those things are unclean. Right? If you're one of those people that um, like to hide in your house and eat swine's flesh, you know, and, and you know, try to think that no one can see you, well, the Most High sees you. Right? And you're going to be put to death for those things. Right? Because that swine is unclean to us. Right? What is swine? When you go to Google... And you type in swine, and this is what pops up. You get images of the pig, right? And it says here, swine, a pig, right? Images. This is swine here. So if you're eating these things, right, if you even touch a pig, it's unclean. It can defile you. It defiles your temple, right? Along with eating crab, shrimp, and lobster, right? Things of that nature. Anything without fins and scales, it's unclean. All right, we go to uh, Leviticus. Let's 
Leviticus chapter uh, 11. Start at verse 7, and it reads, And the swine, though he defied the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean to you. Right? So the, the, the swine, the pig, they don't properly digest their food. Like the cow, it, it chews its food, it swallows it, you know, takes it to his uh his second stomach, you know, and then he brings it back up, he chews it again to properly digest it. That's how, that's how clean animals would eat. But these pigs, they don't they don't um properly digest their food, and they eat anything that you put in front of them, right? And there's some pigs that you have out here that eat human flesh, right? Well, so whatever that pig eats, right? And then you eat that pig, that's what goes into your temple, that's what goes into your body. These pigs do not sweat, right? So all that toxics and everything that they eat remains in their bodies. Right? And then once you eat that, it goes into your body and you become uh, defiled. Right? In verse 8, of their flesh shall ye not eat. Right? And their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. Right? So we're not even supposed to touch these pigs. Right? Read on verse 9. These shall ye eat all that are in the waters. Whatsoever hath fins and scales in the waters. In the seas and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. So whatever in the seas and the rivers and in the waters that has fins and scales, we can eat them. If it does not have fins or scales, we cannot eat them. Verse 10. All that have not fins and scales in the seas so like, and in the rivers, of all that move in the waters, and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. All right. So if it has not fins or scales, we can't eat it. We can't eat shrimp. They have no fins or scales. Lobsters has no fins and scales, right? Crab has no fins or scales. Eel has no fins. We can't eat those things. They're all unclean, right? Um, dolphins, shark, right? Turtles, right? Because there's, there's a lot of people that like to eat turtle soup, right? Whales. We can't eat those things. It's unclean. It defiles your temple. So if you're doing those things, you know, you have to come back and repent, right? Smoking sacred, smoking weed defiles your temple, right? Let's go back to uh, 1 Corinthians. It's like a... Chapter uh, 6 and verse 19. And it reads, What? Know ye not that your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you? Right? Which ye have of God. Right? Because the Most High gave us the Holy Ghost. He put the Holy Ghost within our spirit. If your temple is clean and ye are not your own. Right? So your, your body does not belong to you your spirit does not belong to you so you cannot eat what you want you cannot smoke when you want you're not supposed to smoke at period you're not supposed to eat unclean foods period verse 20 for ye are bought with a price therefore glorify god in your body and in your spirit which are god's right so our body and our spirit belongs unto the most high so the most high says keep that clean Right, keep it clean, keep it pure, keep it sacred, right? Because if you defile that, the Most High is going to destroy you, right? Let's um, let's get Acts uh, seven, Acts seven, verse forty-eight. Right, because the Most High dwells not in temples built with hands. Right, he doesn't dwell in no one's church. Right, you have people out there like, oh, come to my church. You know, the 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 Most High is there. He ain't there. He doesn't deal with these false religions and these idols. Most High doesn't dwell in no temples built with hands. Acts seven and forty eight. Howbeit, the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as said the prophet. Right, when you read First Corinthians three and sixteen. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. 
So we're the temple of the Most High, not these churches. He doesn't dwell in these churches, right? He dwells within us. But you have to keep your temple sacred, pure, right? Holy unto the Most High, right? Can be going off eating these uh, abominable foods, smoking weed and and uh, smoking cigarettes, right? The Most High doesn't deal with those things. Let's get um. Let me jump to Wisdom of Solomon, chapter one, verse four, and it reads, "For into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin." So if, if you have a malicious soul, right, or you, if your uh, body is subject to sin, right, the, then wisdom will not enter into your body, right? The Holy Spirit will not dwell within you, right? Verse 5, for the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit, right? So the Holy Spirit will flee from you if you're unclean, if you're defiling your temple, Right? Reading on and remove from thoughts that are without understanding, right? So if you have wicked thoughts, if you have um, thoughts of, of of no understanding, right? You commit a sin, right? Wisdom will flee from you, right? And will not abide when unrighteousness cometh in, right? So if you're living unrighteous, doing anything um, unrighteous, right? The Holy Spirit will not... Um, dwell with you. The Most High will not sup with you. Right? He doesn't want anything to do with the defiled temple. You know? So it's important for us to obey the Most High and and, and, and keep our temples pure. Right? Second Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 16 and it reads And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols. For ye are the temple of the living God. As God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Right? So the Most High said, what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? The Most High has no agreement with these, with these, uh, with these, uh, with these idols. Right? The Most High doesn't deal with these false religions, all these idols out here. All this idolatry going on. The Most High doesn't deal with that. Right? He says we are the temple of the Most High. Right? That's why we have to keep our, our temples pure. He said he would dwell in us and walk in us. Right? He said he will be our God and, and we shall be his people. Right? Read on. Verse 17. It reads, Wherefore, come out from among them. Right? Come out from among them. Come out from, um, from among these false religions. Right? All this, um, these, 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 uh, worshiping idols and things like that, eating unclean foods, right? Um, smoking, right? Anything unclean that defiles your temple. He said, wherefore come out from among them, right? Come out from among the heathens, you know, learn not the way of the heathens, Jeremiah 10, right? He said, and be ye separate, right? We have to separate from these things, said the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Right? He said, touch not the unclean thing. Right? Anything unclean, stay away from it. Don't touch it. Right? Reading on. And I will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, said the Lord Almighty. Right? For Lord willing, this video was edifying. Till the next video.